today's video I'll be talking about uh, counterfeiting. There's a lot of counterfeiting going on these days because the economy is not that, that great or anything like that. So uh, here are different types of bills and I'll tell you which type of bills are the most common in counterfeiting. Not a lot of ones. No one's going to bother counterfeiting ones like that or fives or tens. I've never seen a counterfeit 10. And uh, 20s, I haven't seen any counterfeit 20s. Not very often. But there are some times. But um, the way you can tell if a 20 is real or not is by feeling the collar of this president's jacket. There's some kind of texture to it when you feel it and there's this thing right here this eagle with this emblem you could feel that it's kind of like popping out on a fake bill that doesn't happen on this 20 right here if you turn it at an angle it turns green from gold to green a counterfeit printed bill isn't going to be able to do that And when you when you put this to the light, you could see the face of the president here. Let me get a flashlight and show you. I think I need a flashlight to show you that. Because uh, it's very hard to show you without a flashlight. As you can see, when I put the light there, you could see on the right uh, President Andrew Jackson's face. That's a part of it, of the security feature, but you must not just rely on that alone, because it's not enough. You put a light to it. And also, when you look at this bill, see these little golden 20s it does kind of like stick out it doesn't it's not like a, it was printed over with like a laser printer or a color printer it does have a texture here same on the left side as well left side and the right side counterfeit bills just don't have that but mostly just check around here, feel around there, you'll feel the texture when you touch it and you will know that's real. Some uh, A fake bill that was printed over isn't going to have that, so do a number of security checks like checking the collar of the president's jacket, checking this thing, Let's see if it comes out, sticks out this thing, putting it at an angle to see if the color changes and um, put a flashlight to here to see if there's a image of the president's face like that that's how you can check if 20 is real or not how about a 50 a same similar thing here you could feel uh, this is Ulysses S. Grant's jacket. This is, uh, you can feel the texture, like with the other president. Here you see the star, it kind of like sticks out. It doesn't look flat at all. And here again, the 50, it's gold. You turn it, it turns green, from gold to green. And again, there's a security feature here. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant's face, where you see me pointing my flashlight. That's how you know. You must do more than one security check to make sure that the bill is real or not. And again, on the right and the left, there's gold 50s. 
for a printed copy, it's not going to show that. But when you feel the paper of the bill, a real bill is going to feel more like more. It's going to have like a cloth-like feel to it. A real bill, and you're not going to get paper cut as easily. But a fake bill, it's kind of like a piece of paper like that. It's feels very flat, you know. This paper isn't flat. There's texture to it when you touch it. Even when you touch here, where you see United States Federal Reserve, it says Federal Reserve System. There's some texture here. There are people that take one dollar bills, five dollar bills, um, leach the ink off of these bills and print over it and make print over 20s, 50s, or 100s, but uh, the paper may be real, so there's another type of test that people do with uh, detecting counterfeit bills. It's by using a pen, and when, when the pen, um, when you use the pen to cross the, I mean, to mark the bill, it turns black, that means it's fake. So if somebody used lower bills like this to print over larger bills, that test wouldn't work because, um, well, because the paper is real, the money, the paper money is real. And for a 50, like I said, it's the same as the 20. You do have to feel around here. One thing counterfeiters can't really do is um, get this right. Very hard to get that right. And uh, 50. And as for the little 50s here, I don't know if you can see that or not. Sometimes counterfeit bills may not have that. Or it may just look like it was printed or something. But this isn't really like printed over. It feels like it's sticks out more or less. Let's look at a hundred. Hundred is a little bit has more security features. You can see this strip, right? It's a holographic strip. If I turn it, it looks like it's moving. If I put it flat, you see little hundreds, but if you if I move it at a different angle you can see that the bell is moving. The bell is basically moving. Sorry, it's not hundreds. It's bill. It's a bell. The bell of liberty, I think. And here you have another feature here. This thing does kind of like stick out when you touch it. It's not flat. And Benjamin Franklin's jacket also has a texture here. And um, this hundred here, if you move it at an angle it turns green from gold to green I don't think you could do that with uh, printing a bill or something like that this hundred here you could feel it you could feel that this is the zero zero and one here a counterfeit bill you're not going to be able to feel anything and here you have little hundreds here I don't know if you can see that or not on the right and the left the, the hundred the little gold hundreds are on the top left and top right top left top right and you could do another test with a bill like this and um, a real bill is going to hold up, but if you have a fake bill, you can hear this, co this coffee paper sounds different than, than this, or even this. Sounds similar, right? All of them sound similar. So for 100, you could do more tests. You have this holographic strip. 
you have this gold bell of liberty if you put it like this at this angle the gold um, ink thing is visible and it's um, gold color right within this ink but if you turn it at an angle it turns green kind of like with that 100 I don't think counterfeiters can do that easily unless this unless the bill was counterfeited by another country like let's say some some a country like North Korea or something or Iran or whatever they could probably make a bill that looks like this and it would probably pass for a real bill but as for most counterfeit bills um, made by uh, petty criminals using a color copier or something they're not gonna make it as good as this you know with all these security features it'd be very hard for them to do that and the way banks know that the bills are real or not is that they have a machine that counts money that um, can check all the security features including the type of paper um, all the features like um, where Benjamin's where Benjamin Franklin's face is at and everything like this test and there's also a strip I think here it is you see that strip on the left where I'm putting my flashlight right there there's a strip uh, all the bills have that strip and you could use a flashlight to see it it's also in the 50 as well I think here for the 50 it's on it's right here right as you can see right there for the 50 and for the 20 it is uh, it is on the far left as you can see right here so they have uh, the strips in different positions so that's how you would know I don't know if a 5 has it let's see if a 5 has it yeah 5 even has a strip as you can see, it's right there for Abraham Lincoln. For 10. 10 should have a strip as well. Here. Right there. So that's how you would know if a bill is fake or not. You have to run a number of security checks. If someone tried to rush you and say, hurry up, and hands over 100 or 50, you just have to be very. Um, suspicious they try to rush you or whatever you say you know what uh, if you're in a hurry like that um, you could go somewhere else just <laughs> say something like that you know so I, I take a lot of cash too when I, I used to do other types of business like um, cash businesses like um, buying and selling stuff on um, Craigslist and uh, I used to go to different type of shows and make money that way and I take a lot of cash and I have to know if the cash that I'm getting is real or not and um, I did work in retail stores uh, when I was going to college and stuff like that so when I was working at the retail store sometimes we did take fake 100s some fake 50s some even some fake 20s the way we would know that this was fake is when the bank uh, the manager of the store took it to the bank took the money and then they would find out which bills are fake basically and the bank will not give you back this money this fake money they will just take it and they're not going to give it back to you whatever uh, fake bills you have if, if you had if you took three uh, fake 50s you would lose $150 just like that so basically that's 
how you do it. If you have any questions, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.